Okay. Ellen and I are standing here in front of the eight hour monument here in Melbourne. There's thousands of others who are turning out to bust the budget. People here know that this budget is one of the biggest threats to this country's way of life that we've seen. When some of the basic principles that we uh, take for granted in this country, like if you get sick, you're going to get good quality health care no matter how much you earn. Uh, if you want to go to university, you're able to no matter uh, how much you or your parents earn. And then if you fall on hard times, you'll get looked after. All of those principles are under threat from this budget. And this comes from uh, Tony Abbott, who lied his way to power, who said there'd be no cuts to education, uh, health, uh, all the pensions, and it turns out that uh, promise didn't even last for a year. So the Greens are going to keep the pressure on Tony Abbott uh, in the Parliament, and if other parties hold their nerve and join with us, uh, we can block most of this budget, most of the harsh reasons. Um, the Greens will stand up to Tony Abbott, and we're calling on others to do the same. Uh, and if we do that, you know, who knows? Um, if Tony Abbott can't get his budget through Parliament, maybe we'll have a new Prime Minister by Christmas. Uh, but one thing that's becoming uh, crystal clear through all of this is that the Tony Abbott budget will take the axe to the states, to the state uh, governments. It means $80 billion a, uh, over several years less for uh, hospitals and for schools. And what's also crystal clear is that we need state parliaments and state governments who will stand up to Tony Abbott. Uh, and that's why I, I'm really thrilled that this year Melbourne's got another opportunity to send a really clear message by electing Ella in the seat of Melbourne. And we've got so many people here. You should see the crowd. There's thousands of people taking over the intersection in the streets of Melbourne. And there are people from all walks of life. There are working people, people tradies, young people, students, older people, pensioners, people from all walks of life who are going to be hit hardest by this budget. And as Adam said, there's over $20 billion cuts to $20 billion worth of cuts to Victoria in terms of our hospitals and our healthcare system and our education system. And people are pretty angry about that. And they're, you know, they're out here today showing just how angry they are. And they know that we can do something about it if we keep up the pressure, as Adam said, in federal parliament, but also getting somebody elected for the Greens in state parliament so that we can stand up to So let's bust the budget.